Hey folks, I'm Rob. And I'm Nathan. And we are Two, two guys, guys in a ride. ride. Today, Nate, tell us where we're at. Oh, we are at a boat show. The we're at the Progressive Boat Show at the Minneapolis Convention Center. That's right. So what are we taking a look at? We are taking a look at boats and personal watercraft. That's right. But say, before we do, take a moment, hit that subscribe button down below and ring that bell notification up above so you never miss a video. So what do you say, Nate? Let's, Let's go look, look for, for a ride. ride. All right. Hey folks, I'm Nathan with Two Guys in a Ride, and today I'm with Ron, who is the Vice President of Engineering with uh, Chris Craft. Correct. And uh, he is going to show us this beautiful boat and tell us a little bit about it. So thanks for being with us sure. today, Ron. So this is a Launch 28 GT. Uh, this boat's been on a lineup for a little over a year, and it represents everything Chris Craft is all about, from beautiful design, the materials, the detail and the attention to detail and the craftsmanship is second to none. And a good example is the paint job on this boat. You noticed this earlier. Oh, yes. This is a, a beautiful blue paint job. Um, it's several layers of paint and a several layer clear coat over the top. And it's the only way to get a finish that is this beautiful and deep and as smooth as this. All right, so uh, we're, we are on board the boat, and uh, you talk about fit and finish, and just the, the craftsmanship, and you look around, and it's just evident. But let's let's just talk about the seats a bit. Tell us, you know, about this area, what they're made out of, um, and the the you know the, the flooring. Yeah, this is a snap-in, correct? So that it can be easily removed, cleaned, and then yep. put back. Or if a customer wants, they can get from the bow all the way to the stern in the cockpit as well. Okay. So we, we build three trim levels. We have okay. a standard edition, which is the teak is that we actually have a synthetic teak we offer. Okay. It looks just like real teak, but it's lower maintenance. Right. Um, this boat has a heritage trim package. So you pick up all the beautiful teak on the exterior. And then we have a, a full heritage package, which you get not only all the teak on the exterior, but where all the snap and flooring is, yeah. that all becomes teak as well. Okay. So well, I, 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 I mean, I love those those options. And personally, I think I'd go for the, the snap and such. Yeah. I, I like me all this. And I suppose you, uh, at some point, if you ever change a color, you can you can just get a new one. Yeah. You just get a new one. It's very easy to do. Okay. And um, now there's some storage in here underneath the seats in the back. Can you tell us a little bit about that. So under the, the sun pad here, that's beautifully upholstered. Yeah. Um, let me talk about details a second. So if you look at our quilted pattern mm, here. I noticed that. This is unique. Our designer came up with this. Um, it creates a beautiful look, wonderful definition, um, but it, it just sets us apart. There's, there's a lot of time and energy goes into creating that pattern. But under this nice sun pad, that this backrest does move, okay. is the engine in this boat. Okay. So that's primarily mechanical space. Okay. Um, what is the boat powered by? This boat's powered by a, this one, this particular boat has a Mercury stern drive in it. Okay. Um, I believe this boat has a 8.2 liter, 380 horsepower engine. Nice. So it'll, it'll, get, it'll get up and it'll, go. It'll get up and go despite the, the, yep. the, the weight. Wow. Okay, so this moves so you can... Yep. Um, so if you want a big sun pad, yeah. this just flips up, Oh, comes look forward. at that. So Gives now... You, pillow, you, you should try it. <laughs> I, I'm going to. No, you should. It's really comfortable. <laughs> I may be here tomorrow morning <laughs> if I were to try it. <laughs> it's very comfortable. Ah. It's Come back later. I'm done. Beautiful. I'll wait till the sun comes out. <laughs> That's very comfortable. You can just feel it. We use uh, our most of our seating is three layers of foam. Oh. So we've got a layer on the bottom that breathes and drains, and then we have a firmer layer, and there's a softer layer on top of that. And all of it creates comfort, but it also keeps the beauty of the upholstery. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Um, all of our vinyl is uh, is a heavy grade vinyl, and 
Yeah, They're all custom it. colors, and the grain is unique to us. So we, we a lot of people buy vinyl off the shelf. We have it color matched to fit our different uh, designs. So you're asking about storage. Right. So a good example is we try and make storage easy to get to. So most of our storage compartments under cushions, they're hinged lids. Yep. Everything's finished nicely inside like I that. I notice. Not only that, but the bottom of your seat is finished yeah. nicely. Yeah. You know, lots of little details, cup holders. We have this, oh. they flip out. So I, I like it, I mean, and again, just uh, think about craftsmanship, it's not a wedge in the cushion. Correct. It's built in yeah. purpose, you know, for, for uh, yeah. And there's a lot of effort goes in by our team to make that. It's a, it's a lot of sewing and covering. Oh, I'm sure. And it then is. installation. So mm -hmm. it's it's not the easy way to put cup holders in a boat, but it's the elegant way to it's do elegant, it. It's elegant, right? Um, we're under, uh, you know, we're standing under a aluminum hardtop. That um, is aluminum. Wow. We, we offer three different top systems on these okay. boats. We have the aluminum top, a top like on the 25 here, okay. and that one will fold down if the customer has, to, uh, has a low bridge. bridge or for storing the boat, or we'll sell it without a top and a, with a, a canvas bimini. Okay. So we can customize the boat to fit where the customer is going to go. Okay, so this this is a fixed top. Correct. And it's aluminum yeah. and the aluminum version. Okay. Did you notice how easy it was to get on this boat? Yeah. Yes. So, we believe boating should be easy and we put side doors on all of our launch GTs and it makes it very easy to get on and off oh, the boat from the dock. This is the whole door. Yep. And Hardly even notice it. You know, you pull up to your dock, you pull up to a waterfront restaurant or... That's a cool uh, feature. Oh, I love it. And you just step off. So it's it's really easy. That's that. No, there, there are no, no other hiking. boats in the bow rider category that have style of door on the side there's yeah. a lot you know there's a lot of other things we talked about the details yeah so if you look around the cockpit you see all this beautiful polished look. mahogany on the dash yeah. you can have behind the seats here it says Chris Craft. this is solid mahogany it's machined to, into shape so it's not a just a board it's a three-dimensional shape and then it's got a primer base coats and top coats and then it's sanded and polished before it gets installed on the boat it's and beautiful. you know it's it's just gives us that authentic beauty the steering wheel is custom designed it's made in this shop in italy that all they make is steering wheels um hand stitched and it, it's all just tied together there's a lot of bright work on the boat so if it's shiny and metal on a Chris Craft, it's going to be stainless steel. Okay. So we the entire so all that stuff we're seeing is stainless this steel. This is all high grade stainless so, steel. So no chrome plated plastic. This is cast stainless steel here, here. Um, wow. It's all custom tooling we invest in, but Chris Craft is about the details <laughs> and to get durability and beauty. That's what it takes. Now you've got. Um, when, and we'll show you a little bit later, but we, you've got cup holders down here, you've got speakers, you've got um, all sorts of different, you have your audio controls down there. And we can control the audio on the Garmin right. screen also. So so this Garmin screen, it basically does, it's kind of a one, a one screen and all, so you've got your navigation, you've got your sonar if you want it, mm -hmm. you've got all your computerized um, engine information. So, so this is, so we put some pretty advanced technology on this boat. This boat has a full digital switching system from called C-Zone on it. Okay. So everything is controlled on the glass. There's a a uh, switching module that sends a signal out to do what needs to right. be done. Um, we also can control engine information on here. So if we are running the boat, all the engine data would pop right. up here. So basically, it runs like a smartphone and and, and, and a bunch of apps. Yep. You know, all your all your navigation yep. and depth finder and all that's on here. Phenomenal. Yep. And we can also bring up audio on here as well. Okay, so, so you can have it two two different places. Yeah. And then in addition to that, you've got an analog speedometer with a digital readout uh, with temperature and speed at yep. the bottom. And so you know, our our designer came up with a design that blends technology but with classic beauty and simplicity. There's a lot of, lot of designs out there that 
are forced and there's just too much going on. And sometimes a simple design like this yep. is harder to execute yep. than to just putting a whole bunch of busy things. So, yeah. right. you know, our designs are, are, I would say they're very clean and purposeful mm -hmm. without being overwrought. I, 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 elegant, I think, I, I very think, elegant, yeah. very tasteful. And then you've got all your fuses down there, so they're easily accessible. And the driver's seat, obviously, is a uh, movable somewhat. This would be for an elevated seating position, Correct. and then you would just move it down for right. the regular and the seat. seat adjusts front to back, front also. to back. Okay, and the helm will steering wheel will tilt. tilt. Okay, and then uh, I can just and you can see on this side too, you've got. Um, You've got USB outlets and 12 or 12 volt outlets down here. Yep. Okay. And then you got you know your traditional storage. But let me look at that woodwork in there. And then behind here, this is actually a door. Oh, the whole thing is a door. So that opens up and reveals a head compartment. Ah. Wow. I, I didn't expect that. I think that was. Yeah. All right. Well, let's step uh, up front. I like the uh, the black and the doors. You know, it's just gives a nice color contrast. Wow! So lots of upholstery, nice deep cockpit for comfort, and and the detailing continues. Yeah, I love all this teak wood at the sides and the top here. And there's cup holders all over. You got an armrest. You got comfort. Man. And, uh, and then uh, I'm sure these lift up at some point for storage. Yeah, there's storage under yep, all Yep, underneath things. all that stuff. Wow. What an absolute uh, tremendous boat. Look at the windshield. I love how it's curved. It's actually curved in both directions. So if there's nothing flat. So it's curved top to bottom <laughs> and side and to side. side. Yes, it is. You can. Yep. Okay, I can see that now. There, there are many boats in the market today that will get a standardized yep. windshield curve, and they don't always blend with the lines and the beauty of the boat. Mm -hmm. We tend to tool custom windshields that really fit the boat, fit the styling, and just give us that higher level of execution. And then, you know, our windshields are all stainless steel, even the bottom trim. You know, so we just go after the, the best we can get. And I, I, I think a good example is, is a simple thing like the table. Every other boat you go into, you get plastic. Mm -hmm. This is yeah. solid teak. Yep. Awesome. Ron, thank you so sure. much on behalf of two guys arrived yep. for taking us on a tour of this awesome boat. Thanks for watching, folks. 